All right, Brendan, thank you. Well, thousands of demonstrators descended upon the steps of the State Museum today to protest a new portion of the SAFE Act that's about to take effect in the coming weeks. Some big names were on hand as well, and Matt Markham was right in the thick of things. He joins us now from our Albany newsroom. Tell us more about what went down today, Matt. Well, good afternoon, Liz. Protesters are calling for the SAFE Act to be repealed, and that's ahead of the April 15th deadline for gun owners to register assault-style rifles. But it's also ahead of an election when a Westchester County executive will try to unseat the man who pushed the SAFE Act forward. He took away your rights, you take away his job. The governor hopeful made a few digs at the sitting governor. The big names like Republican gubernatorial candidate Rob Astorino brought the big crowd to the Empire State Plaza rather than West Capitol Park. Thousands rallied against the state's controversial gun laws. Now, I'm a big Second Amendment person. I'm a big, strong believer in that. Donald Trump made no mention of his own political aspirations, present or future, but he did say he has a pistol permit and supports the fight of the people who want the SAFE Act overturned. Trump used some sarcasm to make that point. Now, they're not taking it away from the bad guys, because, you know, the bad guys, they're going to have their guns, and they're not going to register, and they're not going to do anything. And they'll walk in and they'll have the gun pointed right at you'll be sitting there and saying, can we talk? A bad law is a bad law. Astorino said mental health is just one cause of violent gun crimes and can address them better than he believes the SAFE Act did. But that's really the crux of the problem, not taking law-abiding citizens and making them lawbreakers. USA! USA! Governor Cuomo spoke on the subject of the rally ahead of it this morning. It's a topic that drives strong emotions. I understand it, um, but it's the nature of the discussion. Well, it was initially unclear whether or not one influential voice in the fight against the SAFE Act would be present at the rally today. He didn't participate, but he was there. We'll tell you who coming up at 6 o'clock, Dory.